Bill Delaporte with Archon Ready Group. Thought I'd do a quick video, brought you out to the range with me. I'm going to try and clean the Bianchi plate rack. Uh, it's a drill that's shot in eight strings, two from the 10, two from the 15, two from the 20, and two from the 25. At the 10, you have six seconds, uh, and then seven, eight, nine, respectively, on the way back to 25. Uh, something I try and keep in mind on this drill is cadence. Um, six seconds at 10 is a lot of time, uh, actually. Same with seven, eight, nine, all the way back up to the 25. So if I don't get ahead of myself, if I stick to a decent cadence, if I make sure I don't disturb this or the red dot when I do this, uh, it should go pretty well. Uh, I'm going to make this a short video, so I'm going to try and move through it pretty quick. Uh, it's all going to be one take, so you know that uh, I'm not splicing this video together. Uh, and let's see how we do. All right, so first one, two strings, 10 yards, six seconds. I've got six second part time on my Pack Three Pro Timer, uh, and let's see what can let's see what we can do. All right, that wasn't too bad of a pace. Uh, I did that in five seconds flat. Right about there is where I want to be uh, at this yard line. Most of the shots look pretty good, uh, so let's do it again. All right. Did that one in 5.01 seconds, so my cadence is right where I want it to be. Um, another tip on this. Let's go ahead and move back to the 15, and I'll put 7 seconds on the clock. Another tip is understanding the difference between fundamentals and gun handling skills. Fundamentals are your stance which we can go into detail of stance uh, and all the fundamentals uh, on a later video but gun handling skills those are how efficient I am with my gun and the faster I am with those gun handling skills the more time I can spend on those fun fundamentals like side alignment trigger manipulation uh, and I say trigger manipulation because there's and this is my opinion there is trigger prep, trigger squeeze, and trigger reset. Um, all of those things go into being a faster shooter. Yep. So 15 yards, let's go ahead and put seven seconds on the clock. Top off, press check. All right, let's see what we can do. All right, 5.16, so almost two full seconds uh, left on the clock. So I can slow that down quite a bit more, but the dot was there. Um, if the dot is there, or if the front side post is there, take the shot. Uh, I've only been running a red dot for a couple of months now. Uh, it's just because I'm getting old. I can't see that front side post as well as I used to. All right, not too shabby on shots. Let's do that again. All right, uh, you know, it's tough. Uh, I harp on cadence and then I do that in 4.87 seconds. So, you know, well over two seconds left. Uh, let's reset. Top off mags. Press check. Yep, there's still one in there. I'm just going back to the 20.
Let me set you guys up so you're not so crooked. All right, at the 20 now. So now I've got eight seconds, right? And the cadence, the cadence has been roughly the same as I set eight seconds on the clock here. So now it's just a matter of really forcing myself to slow down because eight seconds is a ton of time back here at the 20. And it is getting ready to dump. All right, so this is a uh, great example of training in adverse conditions, um, hours of limited visibility. So yeah. And hoping like hell that this phone is really as waterproof as they say. All right, let's see what we can do. Eight seconds on the clock. All right, 5.73. Slow down just a little bit, but I can slow down a whole lot more. Hey, so on the on the topic of training, right? The guy we used to work with, uh, my buddy that I teach with, Dan. Uh, there's a guy we used to work with. His name is Pat. Uh, now he's got he's got some great content out there, and he's absolutely right when it comes to how do I train. I should I should come to the range 80% of the time in a in a comfortable range belt. This is where I want to work on the fundamentals. This is where I want to work on speed. This is where I want to push myself. Uh, yeah, absolutely. There are times when you got to put on full kit, throw in the dome of obedience, uh, and embrace the suck. But 90% of the time, get rid of that body armor, get rid of all that heavy stuff, uh, and focus on the fundamentals. All right, so 5.73 on that one. Uh, let's do that one more time. At the 20-yard mark. Not too bad, 6.26. Uh, Trijicon SRO is starting to get a little water on it. Got to fight through it. You don't take an admin break. All right, so now we're back at the 25. See if I can't set you guys up so you can see all this. So yeah, 6.26 seconds, still had, you know, 1.74 seconds left. That's a ton of time. I'm going to set it on delay. Nine seconds to go. Yep. Top off on mags. Someone says I'm OCD. Yep, there's still one in the chamber. Every single time I come to the line, almost every single time, 99.9% uh, of the time before I come to the line, I've got a pre shooting routine, whatever it is, um, whatever the stage is, do I, enough have, do I have enough rounds in my gun for the stage, do I have enough, do I have a round chambered, uh, if there's a reload involved, or even if there's not a reload involved, uh, if a malfunction occurs and I've got to drop a mag, do I have another mag uh, readily available uh, to complete the drill. Bottom line, once the buzzer goes off, there is no admin reset. Oh, I, you know, oh, I forgot to load my gun. Uh, no, that's a perfect opportunity to work through a malfunction. Uh, the malfunction being the shooter didn't load his damn gun. Uh, all right. So minus water in my optic and glasses fogging. We just got 12 more plates to go. Nine seconds on the clock at the 25. Yeah, 25-ish. Uh, can we get everybody in here? Uh, 
And it's 25 ish. All right. Nine seconds. Here we go. All right, 6.68 seconds. Uh, I'll tell you what. No, let's keep going. Uh, TwitchCon starting starburst just a little bit. Let's see what I have on me that can fix that. I got a shirt. How about this? All right, so reset. Yeah, I got enough rounds. Still got one chambered. Um, six more to go. Ooh. That first one was a little dodgy. I think I just hit the top left corner. Let's go down there and take a look. Um, but man, I tell you what, the Trigicon SRO and the Archon Firearms Type B that I'm running, man, uh, makes this a lot easier. Let's take a look at that one. So, that guy right there almost cost me a lot of video hey head on over to archonreadygroup.com uh take a look um you know we are in the market of training folks whether you just bought your first gun uh, or whether you're looking to take your shooting to the next level um man there's a lot of stuff we could go into everything from what we think the fundamentals are and where you should focus, where you should focus as a brand new shooter, uh, where you should focus as an experienced shooter, the difference between gun handling skills uh, and fundamentals and how do I use my gun handling skills to allow me to take advantage of those fundamentals. Uh, anyway, not too, too many people can clean the plate rack. I do owe it quite a bit. Uh, to this guy right here. Yep, nothing in the chamber safe direction uh, This is the Archon type B uh, from Archon Firearms USA uh, with a Trigicon SRO um, Custom comp on the front uh, There's been some trigger work done it man. This thing is a pack driver um, Yeah, hope this helped out a little bit hope uh, you got to see a solid cadence. Most of those shots were in the uh, half second range, which is as fast as you need to go to clean this drill. All right. Uh, thanks for uh, tuning in, and uh, I'll see you guys in the future.